It is that special time of year when rural New England comes in from the fields and out of the woods to flash some skills, strutted stuff, and put a year's hard work on proud display for all the world to see. And here in Maine, they do it in a big way. It's that most New England of all New England events, the 171st annual Freiburg Fair. This is Chronicle on WCBB Channel 5. The Freiburg Fair, a many splendored thing, carnival, food fest, and livestock showcase. Three, two, one, go. But on Monday, it's all about the competition. Send it in, send it in. Today is Woodman's Field Day, where lumberjack skills take center stage. There's the tree fell, a mix of muscle, speed, and accuracy, measured by some sacrificial pumpkins. This is where you get your axe on, show off your chops, and make the case that you're a cut above. Contestants, are you ready? And that's where we find Gillis Mueller hard at it with his brother Maurice, competing for the Supermasters Crosscut Saw title. But wait, shouldn't an 84-year-old have hung up his blade? Are you nuts? I only got a few more years. I'm going to live it. Mueller <laughs> from Derby Line, Vermont, has spent his life in the woods working in trees for the power company. I was one of these guys that go up in the trees, put the rope, pull them off the wires, and pray to God that, you know, it doesn't get you. His body is keeping score. Gillis lost a finger in 74. Not that it slowed him down for long. You're down right, yeah. I couldn't wait to get back out there. Because my life has always been out and, you know, doing something. One hand over the other hand. Straight Inspired, up. your humble reporter is eager to try her hand. Ah, so close! And test her skills. Oh, that's just really bad. But under the patient tutelage of Jason Clements of Hat City Axes. Hammer and a handshake. Hammer and a handshake. Hammer and a handshake. I finally find nice. my mark. You Duck the landing. The learning curve. On your mark, get set, get, 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 Isn't get quite so steep. There they go. Watch them roll, watch them flow. With my next challenge. Lucky. Did I win? Did I Number win? six. Ah. Gotcha. My sure hand with the squirt gun only whets my appetite for greater glory. I steal myself for one of the fair's marquee events. And it's just fun to watch a woman throw a frying pan. Who doesn't want to see a lady throw a frying pan? <laughs> the annual women's skillet toss. Annette Metcalf hosting this year's competition is no flash in the pan. She's a former champion winner of the coveted Golden Skillet. I own a restaurant in Naples, Maine called Annette's Country Skillet Diner. And I kind of named it after the skillet throw. My ribbons are hanging all through the diner. And I always joke and be like, don't skip out on your bill because I can hit you with a pan through the whole diner. Contestants are divided into age groups, which is good news for Diane Richard of Sutton, Massachusetts. That means she doesn't have to go pan to pan with her daughter and granddaughter. You know, we've come into the fair for uh, like 25 years. I would watch the skillet throw and I was too nervous to join. But then one year I said to my husband, next year I'm going to do this. So I went home and I practiced in the yard a little bit with an old rusty fry pan. And I came and I started winning. That was 11 ribbons ago. Now both daughter Christine Watkins and granddaughter Greta are throwing pans around the backyard too. We just think she's such an inspiration for everyone. As for this cast iron greenhorn, we'll come back later for my maiden toss. I don't know how I'm gonna do this. <laughs> for now, the concern is less my arm strength than it is my head game. Four pounds, but the weight of the pressure, immeasurable. 
<laughs> oh, and make no mistake, the pressure was on mm -hmm. for Erica. A packed grandstand. People were ready for a competition. We'll see how she did a little later in the show. You know, last year marked the return of the fair in person after the pandemic, and everyone was so happy to be back. They kept talking about it feeling like a family reunion after having been off a couple of years. This year's fair is actually next week. It is Sunday through Friday. All right.